hacking humanly the Turing test approach. The first thing that comes to our mind when building a robot is whether a robot can act like a human. In 1950, Alan Turing, famous paper Computing Machinery and Intelligence, suggested that instead of asking if machine can think, we should ask if machine can pass a behavioral intelligent test. Later, the computer scientist Edgar Dijkstra also acknowledged the same. The question of whether machine can think is about as relevant as the question of whether submarines can swim. We'll agree that submarines cannot swim, but they can navigate through water and driving planes or hydroplanes and carrying modern machine inside them. Helen Turing designed the Turing test to determine whether a computer can demonstrate human intelligence. Turing proposed that an interrogator physically separated from a machine via online messages have a conversation with them. If the interrogator can't find a machine chatting with them, the computer passes the test. The computer fools the interrogator about 30% of the time. Turing test versus total Turing test. Turing test requires national language processing, knowledge representation, automated reasoning and machine learning. Total Turing test requires national language processing, knowledge and reasoning, automated reasoning, machine learning, computer vision and robotics. Total Turing test covers most of artificial intelligence subjects. However, it is not mandatory to pass Turing test to design any AI systems. Thinking humanly, the cognitive modeling approach. Thinking humanly is to make a system or a program think like a human. But to achieve that, we need to know how a human thinks. Suppose if we ask a person to explain how the brain connects different things during the thinking process, they will probably close both eyes and check how they think. But they cannot explain or interpret the process. Ask the same question to yourself and most likely you will have the same pattern and will end up saying you do not know or you may say something like I'm thinking through my mind but you cannot express more than that. Read through neuroscience books to get deeper understanding of this. For example, if you want to model the thinking of Roger Federer and makes a model system to compete against him to play in a tennis game, it may not be possible to replicate the same thinking as Roger Federer. A good built of intelligent system robber can play and win the game against him. To understand the exact process of how we think, we need to go inside the human mind to see how this giant machine works. In thinking humanly, the cognitive modeling approach, how to interpret the human mind in three ways. One, the introspection method. We can catch our thoughts and see how it flows. Two, psychological inspection method. We can observe a person on the action. Three, brain imaging method. MRI magnetic resonance imaging or fMRI functional magnetic resonance imaging scanning. Uh, we can observe a person's brain in action.